Wow, this is massive. What's up guys, welcome to another video. This is Charlie Lin. In my last video, I introduced to you an immersion cooling factory here in China. The owner of the factory is called Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan has been a miner for many years and he has been a very big customer to the Bitmain company. He understands mining and he understands what kind of equipment we really need for mining. Mr. Fan is not just a business person, he is more of a miner, so he understands the pains of those miners. In the year of 2016, Mr. Fan started off with building some GPU miner parts, but later he discovered that there is a huge demand for cooling in the GPU mining. He was really big on building one of those earliest form of cooling solutions for GPU mining. However, after Mr. Fan discovered that there is an Ethereum merge many years ago, he understood that gradually he has to shift to something else, and that is emotion cooling for ASIC miners. Mr. Fan told me in the beginning the idea wasn't liked by most of the people because many people thought it was not necessary. But after last year, 2021, mining was banned here in China. Then these immersion cooling solutions become really a lifesaver. <laughs> Why? Because immersion cooling boxes and immersion cooling containers are going to provide a really silent environment for mining. And we don't know what the governments all over the world would do to mining. What if America imposes a ban on crypto mining as well in the future? And what about Middle East and Europe? We don't know. So immersion cooling solutions are necessary not just for technical reasons, but also for regulation reasons. However, today we're not going to go too deep into that topic. Okay, again, I want to talk about what are the purposes of immersion cooling. Immersion cooling solution, once applied, is going a long way to providing a stabilized mining environment. If I would like to put an analogy, with just air cooling, the hash rate performance will be fluctuating. But with immersion cooling, the hash rate performance will be stable as a straight line. One more thing about the immersion cooling is that it helps to unleash the full potential of all of our miners. Because not only we can help the miners to perform at their regular standards, but also we can help them for overclocking for higher hash rates. But of course, we will have to engage higher capacity power supplies. Okay, so immersion cooling solutions consist of both boxes and containers. In my last video, I introduced to you the immersion cooling boxes. Today, I'm going to mainly introduce to you about one of those immersion cooling containers. Why do we need the containers? They're so big, what is the use of them? I think the immersion cooling containers are really great solutions to upgrade some of those mining farms across the world. Or in some sense, immersion cooling containers are by themselves mining farms that are mobile. You can move them anywhere around the world. Let's say if you're in America, your state puts a ban on mining, you can move your container to a different state where mining is allowed. Or you can move the container to anywhere else in the world where mining is still not forbidden. Or even if mining is forbidden anywhere in the world, immersion cooling containers are very silent. So it's like they're all the perks about the immersion cooling, right? It's very silent, it's mobile, it's powerful, it helps to overclock, it helps to unleash the due performance of the miners or to upgrade the performance of these miners. However, we have to admit, emotion cooling boxes are not for everyone. If you're just a beginner or newbie, they won't come off very user-friendly to you. Because to help the miners to set up with emotion cooling, there are a lot of things to be done. You have to remove all the fans in the miners, and also you will have to buy a lot of oil for the immersion cooling to happen. There are a lot of hassles to individuals. You have to build your own water tower. It's so huge. It takes a lot of space. So definitely to set up your first immersion cooling solution is going to take you a lot of time. Okay, but anyway, I talked to the technical lead of this factory. I said, so immersion cooling boxes are only for the big guys, right? They're not for the small guys. She says, maybe right. So I asked her, is that against decentralized mining? She says, probably yes. Because in the beginning of the mining, everyone is entitled to owning coins and mining coins. So in some sense, emotion cooling, whether just in boxes or containers, are both a little bit away from decentralized mining or distributed mining. Because they're just not that easy to set up. 
my personal suggestion is that you can probably pitch those immersion cooling solutions to your hosting providers, supposing you are having your miners hosted by some of those mining farms. I believe all over the world, all the mining farms are definitely experiencing a big headache with many problems, especially with electricity and the maintenance of all these different machines. So if you can pitch this idea of immersion cooling, whether immersion cooling boxes or containers to your hosting providers, or you can pitch the idea to anyone rich in your country, hey, let's build some of those immersion cooling mining farms. What about that? So in that way, all the individuals and corporations can enjoy immersion cooling at the same time, but everyone needs to be united all together. Okay, enough with talking about the ins and outs of the immersion cooling. Let me talk about Mr. Finn's immersion cooling containers. After my last video, some of those miners reached out to me asking about some of those immersion cooling boxes. I gave them a quotation and I believe the quotation was kind of too high. So I asked them at the fan, why is your equipment so expensive? Even these immersion cooling boxes is very pricey. And what about these big mining containers? Are they also going to be very expensive? The answer is yes. But Mr. Fan gave me some sound reasoning. Immersion cooling solutions is not just about having some high specifications, how many miners can be put into one container. It's not just about one day of mining or one month of mining. It's about multiple months or even multiple years of mining. So you have to provide very durable quality for all the parts of this immersion cooling hardware. So Mr. Fan came up with many solutions for upgrading and improvement in this whole industry of immersion cooling. One of the points of improvement is on avoiding the water with these immersion cooling boxes or containers. How to do that? Mr. Fan added all these transparent organic glass panels on all of these immersion cooling boxes so we can observe and monitor mining with naked eye and at the same time, it helps to avoid the outer air from getting into the immersion cooling boxes or containers. Mr. Fan told me to avoid the water in the air to go inside the immersion cooling boxes or containers is to help to avoid the oil in the immersion cooling from getting acidified. That means the oil inside the immersion cooling boxes or containers can turn acid with more contact with water in the air. To avoid acidification in immersion cooling, Mr. Fan not just has this particular solution, Mr. Fan has done many small details to do the same purpose. For example, when the cables are going into the immersion cooling boxes, Mr. Fan adds some rubber covers onto the holes of these immersion cooling boxes. So he has done many things to avoid the water to go inside the immersion cooling boxes. So all these small details add up on the costs. And there's another example. When the ethernet cables are going into the immersion cooling boxes, Mr. Fan invented a very expensive but optimized setup for these ethernet switches. I will show you later. Pretty much everything used in Mr. Fan's immersion cooling products are very expensive. Another example is the oil pumps in the immersion cooling containers that Mr. Fan developed. It's not a regular pump. It is more silent than regular pumps. In Chinese, we call them blocking pumps. Still now, Mr. Fan is working on coming up with more solutions and improvement for his immersion cooling products. I respect him a lot. Okay, I want to touch upon a little bit about the specifications of this immersion cooling container right behind me. This container can help to host up to 216 miners, whether it's ant miners or watts miners. Most of the mining containers can only help to host ant miners, but not watts miners. And there's another small detail that Mr. Fan is really proud, is that his container has three floors. That is what allows his immersion cooling container to, to host up to 216 miners, whether watts miners or ant miners. Okay, so the standard power output of these miners that will be put into the immersion cooling boxes will be 5,000, but if you need it for overclocking, it can be 7,500 watts. As we're having 216 miners by maximum for this immersion cooling container, the total power of this container is 1.6 megawatts. Okay, maybe this is pretty much about the general background information about the immersion cooling container right behind me, developed by Mr. Fan, a miner, also a business person here in China. I'm going to show you some of those details. Okay, basically, 
how this immersion cooling container works is like uh, the miners will be put into these immersion cooling boxes, right? And the oil will be going inside the immersion cooling boxes via this uh, oil pump, which will be very quiet. Uh, it is not a regular pump, according to Mr. Fan. And also there will be a kind of a filtration process inside the immersion cooling boxes to help the oil to be flowing. So in that way, the oil is not dead. After the oil is heated, the oil will be going into this a huge exchanger actually we have two heat exchangers over here because we just don't have that big size of a heat exchanger so they just got two of them again the heat exchanger of an immersion cooling system is also very expensive basically it's just about the water and the oil going side by side shoulder to shoulder for the oil to be cooled down by the water okay according to mr fan the most expensive uh, part of the mining container is different from the immersion cooling box. In the immersion cooling box, the most expensive part of that system is the heat exchanger. But in this mining container, the most expensive part is this. And this is not a water tower, this is called dry cooler. Because although it has water inside, but the water is kind of circulating in a kind of vacuum way. This dry cooler part is composed of many little water pipes inside the water will be going into these long water pipes uh, back and forth, running in circles, uh, traveling for three or four kilometers for the water uh, to be cooled down. After the water is cooled down, the water will go back to the heat exchanger to help to cool down the oil. This is positioned like a triangle, so the heat will be only going up. Up over there, there are a few really powerful fans to suck the heat inside the container outside and these kind of powerful fans are also not going to just be running 24 hours they will only be running when it helps to detect it is necessary to cool the immersion cooling container they will have a system to detect the temperature of the mining environment only when the control system finds out that it is necessary to cool down the immersion cooling box with the extra fans well, these powerful fans start to work. So it saves more electricity, right? All right, all these are the heat sinks. I asked Mr. Fan, why don't we just leave the whole container naked? But according to Mr. Fan, he told me these heat sinks are built to maximize the area or the coverage of the water pipes inside to touch the outside world. And this way, uh, the cooling effect would be better. Okay, so what I cannot show you today is that there will be water curtains putting up from up to down over here after the entire system is completed. And also these water curtains that we cannot show today will only be working when the whole system finds out uh, the system needs the water. Okay, so these two tanks built on the top are put over there to help to alleviate some of the pressure inside the container once the heat reaches to an extreme. So things inside don't explode easily. Basically, you can find that there are a lot of uh, small details done by Mr. Fan to protect his system of immersion cooling. So you can see that the, this is the organic transparent glass. Everything is done to try to protect the immersion cooling boxes from uh, getting in touch with the outside world. According to Mr. Fan, these cables inside the immersion cooling boxes are not average cables. The plastic used is a very unique material. It can help to avoid acidity. Basically, it means the cables, once dipped into the oil inside the immersion cooling boxes, won't become hard very easily. So it's both endurable and flexible. Uh, we have two kinds of cables, one for water miners and another for ant miners. You can also look at the uh, Ethernet sockets. Uh, Ethernet cables will be connected from here to the outside. And so this kind of small detail is done to try to minimize the possibility of the outer air to go inside. Okay, there's another interesting detail, these uh, plastic uh, covers. So this kind of small detail is also done to avoid the outer air to go inside. And if you observe in the market, you will find that uh, the holes are very big, you know, for cable connections like this. Well, of course, we're not saying that this is entirely airtight or vacuum 
but all these small details are done all together to try to make this slightly better. Let me also go up over there. Wow, this is massive. Of course, average people won't be buying any of these containers because the containers will cost us a fortune. And secondly, we won't be able to buy that uh, 200 or even just 100 miners that easily, right? But this might be a solution for some of those mining farms that are looking for improvement or upgrading. Because to maintain a mining farm is a lot of work. But if you apply a motion cooling container, it's just a one-time setup, almost a one-time setup. Because this emotion cooling container is a very silent and almost a vacuum or we can say airless environment because we have all these solutions and little details to avoid the water to go inside from the air. So Mr. Fan told me there is a very big guy from Avalon Miner that's uh, deciding to buy a lot of these mining containers from him. He has traveled almost all over the world but he has never observed anything like this that can help to host up to three layers of miners uh, and what's miners and end miners at the same time. They know it's expensive, but they're still going to buy it. Okay, I hope that today I have showed you enough about the immersion cooling mining container. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section. I look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.